Out of this new at five, hotel owners in Los Angeles are up in arms as city council members get ready to vote on an initiative that would force them to house the homeless. Christina Gonzalez is live with more on that brewing battle. Christina. Yes, and this could affect any hotel, the well-known mid-sized brands like you see behind us, the luxury hotels downtown, even family-owned ones. And yes, it goes to the council tomorrow. I'm an innkeeper, so when I rent a room, I want to make sure my staff is safe. I want to make sure my paying guests are safe. And very most importantly, too, is my neighbors are, you know, are complimented and happy with my operation. But Ray Patel, who owns Eagle Rock's Welcome Inn, says he won't be able to do that if city leaders approve an ordinance forcing all hotel owners in the city to report the number of vacant rooms each day so homeless people could be placed in them. It'll help create an emergency solution, right, uh, for people that need housing immediately. Maria Hernandez with Unit Here Local 11, which is behind the initiative. We have members that are on the edge of, of potentially becoming homeless. People like Carla, a recently widowed caretaker. Yeah, I have a good paying job, but it's not enough. It's not enough. It could only pay a certain amount of the rent. Um, bills, medical bills, food, it, it's a struggle. She and many others were affected by the phase out of Project Room Key, where hotel owners were paid during the pandemic to house homeless individuals. But the city offered participating hotels support, including social services, counseling, even food. And the program was not mandatory. Under this ordinance, hotels could be sued if they don't accept the homeless. What this initiative is saying is you have no say so take the voucher, otherwise we'll sue you or someone will be able to bring a lawsuit on behalf of them and it could be anybody. I don't agree with it. Some of those people get a little wild. I live in Las Vegas and I'm just visiting here and I have them around my neighborhood and they get very annoying sometimes. I think it would actually be good if they were allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. I just don't know about forcing the owners to do it. Residents in neighborhoods near the Welcome Inn say they're already dealing with unhoused individuals. I think more services for the mentally ill, more drug rehabilitation services are needed to help with the problem as opposed to some short-term housing in a hotel. Now, they, the union says they have already gathered 126,000 signatures in support of this initiative, which tomorrow the council could choose to send to the voters, but they could also just approve it themselves. We'll find out tomorrow. I'm Christina Gonzalez in North Hollywood. I'm back to you in the studio.